give you an introduction to a powerful career in electrical. Um, a little company overview for you. Um, it's a bit of uh, marketing that we use. Um, just gives you a quick uh, rundown on Flyer and what we're about. For over 35 years, Flyer Electric has provided powerful solutions to some of the most successful companies on the prairies, and we want you to be one of them. For engineered or design build projects, Flyer is your trusted name for electrical solutions, basic water treatment plants, renewable energy technology, commercial, industrial, and mining projects. Flyer can get it safely done, on time and on budget. Flyer Electric, over 35 years of powerful solutions. So that's a little quick overview of uh, Flyer, real short. Um, For over 30. Company overview. So Flyer Electric, if you're not familiar with us, uh, we've been providing a full range of electrical services throughout the prairies for over 35 years. I have a long history of working in Northern Saskatchewan and all the different communities and the mine sites. Uh, we're well known in the industry for our commitment to quality, dedication to safety and our fairness of our project deliveries. Uh, a few of our important clients that you've likely heard of, just so you know kind of who we're doing work for. So SAS Power, Cameco, uh, Nutrien, Orano, uh, Saskatchewan government, Rio Tinto, Wood Canada, Nuna Group, Mosaic Potash, Kelsey Pipelines, Graham Construction, Point South Abasca, and PCL Construction. So these are some clients that we're doing exciting projects with and currently every single one of them. Um, and most of them are, it's quite typical that we're always working with them. So I'm sure you recognize some of those companies and, uh, you know, they're big players in this province for sure, if not cross country, many of them. An overview of a uh, career as an electrician. Uh, electrical is a career in the trades. Um, it's not something that you go to university for, it's a trade. So many of you have heard of the different trades, electrical is one of them. Uh, you take your schooling typically uh, through SASC Poly or an associate satellite school uh, for pre-employment classes. Um, I believe Northlands College, you just spoke often, I think they had pre-employment classes in various communities. So a group like that and uh, in many of the Northern communities, you could uh, find those courses there. Uh, their career, uh, electrical is a career for men and women alike. We have uh, many uh, women working with us. Uh, you might, you know, often think that maybe it's not a place for, for uh, women to work, but we all work together and it's a great team. Um, I'd like to see so many more in the trade. Um, <clears throat> requires two months of schooling every year uh, for four years. And that takes you right through as long as you're applying yourself properly. That'll take you right through uh, your schooling and take you to a journeyman status. Um, <clears throat> so you earn while you learn. Uh, you're working for 10 months of the year, typically, and you go to school for the other two. So you're bringing in a good wage the entire time you're learning. So that's a pretty big bonus right there. Um, excellent hourly pay uh, based on based on hours worked and experience gained. So a typical starting pay for a green apprentice, we call a apprentice a green apprentice when they're fresh in the trade and next to no experience. So they would start around 15 bucks an hour um, and go up to uh, a fresh journeyman. So, you know, when you get your ticket after four years, typical starting pay for a journeyman's around the 36 bucks an hour. 
Um, so a nice increase over not a long period of time. Uh, the raise in rates following that normally based on your ambition, um, experience and your drive. So if you really apply yourself and you pay attention to what's happening around you and you can show some leadership, you're going to climb the ladder pretty fast and your rates are going to rise. Uh, health benefits and RSP programs are typically added perks. I know they are with Flyer and uh, other electrical companies, I'm sure, have the same type of programs. Uh, you'll typically see many different places. So this is a bonus of, uh, you know, working with Flyer Electric or being in the electrical trade, probably lots of other companies as well. Um, you typically see many different places. We do lots of traveling to the different jobs. You're rarely going to be bored because it's not too often you're doing the same task over and over again. So it's a pretty exciting career. It's a really good, uh, it's a really good option for young people trying to figure out which direction they're going. Uh, steps to becoming an electrician. Uh, you have to graduate high school or complete a GED. Um, there's a strong recommendation that you complete uh, physics and math classes in, in your schooling uh, because they're used throughout your career in electrical and they're going to help you a lot in electrical school. So if you're doing that in high school or you have the option and you're thinking of this as a trade, you should consider signing up for those classes. Um, you're going to want to apply for pre-employment course. Um, it's not essential to a career in electrical, but what it does is basically gives you your first year of schooling under your belt. It's about a six month course typically, and um, it makes you stand out to uh, your to potential employers. Uh, I know myself when we're looking for apprentices, if I see someone that's taken pre-employment, then they obviously have the drive and likely a good strong desire to be in the electrical trade. So that's an advantage right there for them. So you're going to want to consider that. Um, following that, you have to be hired and indentured by an electrical contractor. So get your applications out and um, find an electrical contractor that's going to bring you on and make sure you get indentured with them. Then the clock starts ticking and you start counting hours towards your trade. Uh, you need to show up to work um, every day. If you're scheduled, you show up to work and you work hard. And that's going to help you. Uh, lots of questions and apply yourself. So ask questions. Nobody's expecting you to know everything. When you're hired, you need to ask questions, show some interest, and you're going to go a long ways. It's going to help you learn and that's the only way to learn. Go to school when you're called. So typically you'll be called to school around, I believe, 16 to 1800 hours. So about once a year for a two month period, you're going to be called to school. So when you get that call, you need to accept the invitation and pay the fee and go to school. So we have had problems in the past with People not wanting to go to the electrical school, they're intimidated by it or what have you. I assure you there's lots of help for it and it's not scary. It is, uh, it's essential for your career. You can only pass up the school so many times and then they won't let you continue. So you're going to, you're going to want to go to school. I uh, work hard. Um, employers notice hardworking and motivated people. So like I mentioned before, that's going to help you. It's going to show that you have drive and you really want to be there and uh, help you, um, you know, climb the ladder. Safety. Safety is a huge part of everything we do. So it's right at the core of what we do all day and every day with our work. Um, we don't expect you to know everything about your job. Like I said, uh, when you show up, you need to be trained. You're going to be trained to do your tasks. You're going to be trained for the tools and the equipment that you're expected to use. 
Um, nobody's expecting you to know that stuff. So don't be intimidated and think because you got a job, now you're supposed to know everything. That's not how it works. Okay, we train you. We make sure you know what you're doing. You get all the training that you need. Um, we'll train you to be a safety advocate as well. So always looking forward and planning your work. That's going to help you with that. We'll teach you to bring the safety home with you. So it's not just something you have to do at work. It's something that you're, it's ingrained in you and you think the same way when you're at home as you do on the job site. You need to be safe. Typical training that you'll see for electricians uh, would be fall protection, aerial work platform. So that's like working on a man lift. You need to be trained. So that's what that is. Uh, confined space, WIMIS, fire extinguisher use, uh, fit testing, and so many others. Um, like I said, you'll be trained to do what you're expected to do. We're proud of the work we're involved in. Um, electrical is so much more than just wiring your uncle's house. Um, residential. These are some examples of the different types of electrical. There's so many different parts. I can't sum them up all on here, but here's a few examples anyways. Uh, residential. So that's like wiring your uncle's house. Commercial work. Um, it's like wiring, say, the local store or a school or a shopping mall. That's commercial work. Uh, industrial. That would be wiring at a mill or a power station, let's say. So like one of the chemical sites on surface, the mills that you see, or the Urano site, that's industrial work. Uh, mining. So that's wiring at the mine site, underground or on surface. You know, diamond mines, uranium, gold, potash. That's all mining electrical work. Uh, and we're involved in all of that. Um, infrastructure type work. That's like your uh, sewer and water treatment plants and lift stations. That's infrastructure work. We do a ton of that. Uh, renewable energy. That's uh, solar systems and wind farms and hydro stations. And uh, there's so many more parts to electrical. So many different areas you can dive into. Like you could even be working on a movie set <laughs> um, on the electrical. They need that there too. Um, questions, anybody got any questions? Um, I thank you for your time. Um, you can go to uh, our website, flyerelectric.com, and you can apply on there if you're interested in a career with us. Um, you can also email apply at flyerelectric.com, send your resume, and if you're interested in a career. So that's kind of sums it up in a nutshell, electrical career and with Flyer Electric. So I'm not sure if I rolled through that too fast, but um, any questions? Terry, we've got one question from uh, Brianda, Brianda Robillard asking any available positions for new apprenticeships, Polytech, Dawn? I don't know what that means, but um, do you understand that question? SAS Polytech Don. Any um, available positions for new apprenticeships? Um, yeah, typically there is positions for new apprentices, yeah. Uh, depends on the, obviously we try and match people up. So if, if they're living in Northern communities, often we try and match them up with opportunities uh, in the north uh, on the mine sites. So it depends the type of work we have at the time. That kind of dictates the opportunities, but typically there is opportunities. Hi, Terry, it's Kara here. I, I have a question. What is, where do you advertise your job postings? Just on your uh, website? Typically, um, there is some on SAS jobs, um, LinkedIn, and um, um, Indeed as well. Awesome. Thank you. But to check your website regularly, uh, you would suggest? 
Yeah, you can check our website for sure. And there's a place to apply on there. So that's going to be the easiest spot for you for sure. And uh, what Brianna, Brianna, I hope I'm saying that name properly, Roberlide says is what they meant to say was SAS Polytech doesn't offer pre-employment now since 2018. Okay, maybe that's been taken over then. Northlands, I believe, um, had pre-employment uh, in the different communities. Well, that's kind of a strange comment. I'm certainly not aware of that, but oh, maybe there. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. I've got another comment from Mervyn McIntyre. Uh, what is the process for a level four apprenticeship, one to four apprenticeship personnel to seek work or hours with flying Flyer Electric? Is there a selected region? that is an option for mine sites and other regions? Um, not a selected region, no. I can't quite follow that question, I guess, but the uh, basically the process is kind of like I laid out there. You need to either take pre-employment or find an electrical contractor that's willing to bring you on and indenture you right away. And then once you're indentured, um, you're registered with the apprenticeship board in Saskatchewan. So they will start um, recording your hours as you send them in and that process starts. So once you, uh, once you gain so many hours, they will call you to go to school, typically once a year um, for two months. And you'll do that for four years. And as long as you're applying yourself and you're passing your, your class every year, then you'll become a, a journeyman electrician. Awesome. Thank you, Terry. We've got